Liquid Death is now giving away a $400,000 fighter jet, and this is exactly how you can win it. I'm gonna be going over the marketing strategy behind it, where they got the idea from this, because Pepsi did this in 96, it didn't end very well. And now, what is Liquid Death doing properly that you can now win this jet, and they're actually going to give it away? In case you are new to this channel, and I'm sure you are, because I don't have that many subscribers yet, my name is Austin, I'm the founder of AdBlend. We make ad creatives that scale for direct consumer brands on Meta. So let's dive into what they're actually doing, what Liquid Death is actually doing, and how this is going to work, because I think Liquid Death is honestly at this point a marketing company that just happens to be selling canned water. So they have a great vehicle, which is the water, and now they're doing all these different marketing strategies that hit every single time. I don't know if they have one that actually didn't do well, and just to push this water, and it's working perfectly. So this week they just released that they're giving away a $400,000 fighter jet, or if you don't want the jet, they're gonna give you $250,000 in cash. In case you're not a pilot, you don't wanna pay for the hangar space, the fuel, the pilot, whatever reason you don't want the jet, they'll give you cash. They're not gonna match the price of the jet, but they will give you cash. It's a fully branded jet, looks pretty insane. And I went to the website to see how you can actually enter this sweepstakes or giveaway. And it's honestly pretty interesting. So the reason they're doing this, before I go into how you can actually win this, the reason they're doing this is because in 96, Pepsi actually did a sweepstakes or a point system that every can of Pepsi you had was a point to then win this, was a, a point system. So at the end of it, you, uh, you can win a leather jacket, t-shirt, merch, whatever it is. And for 7 million points, you can get a fighter jet. You can get a Harry Air fighter jet. That was valued at $34 million. This jet was $34 million. It was a functional military jet and you only needed 7 million points. And there was a, a guy, there was actually a Netflix documentary about this called Pepsi, Where's My Jet? And there was a this guy, he was 23 years old and he wanted to get the jet, right? So he started, he calculated that if he was to buy all of these cans of Pepsi, he would need to spend $4 million to then get this jet. And then of course he can turn around and sell this jet and probably profit, you know, $20 million. So at that point, it's a great investment. Why not? You could just flip it. That was his thought process. So then he started buying these, these cans of Pepsi and he started to realize, or he realized, he read the fine print that each Pepsi or each point is worth 10 cents. So why not just pay for the jet? Why not just spend the $700,000 on the jet and then turn around, flip it, make, you know, whatever, $25 million. So that was his plan. He raised $700,000, sent the check to Pepsi, and then Pepsi said, no, it was actually a joke. And and we're not gonna give you the jet. So there was a whole lawsuit. It actually went to the US District Attorney or the, the highest court, I don't know if it went to the Supreme Court. It went to the US District Attorney. In 99, it was settled. And what did they give it? $700,000. And what did they, how did they settle this? I don't even think they gave him anything, actually. The guy who, who sent the check in, his name was Leonard, John Leonard. He sent us the check for 700,000 to Pepsi. Pepsi said, no, this was a joke. Set, didn't cash the check, so there's no fraud. They didn't cash the check, didn't take a dollar from him. And then they went to court and they said this was just a joke. There was no joke. Jet. They weren't actually going to give you a $30 million jet. This wasn't even going to happen, which is, I mean, not the nicest thing to do. Then they repurposed the entire commercial. Instead of saying 7 million points, it was now 700 million points. And in asterisks or in you know parentheses, it said, just a joke. We're just joking, which is insane to do after this lawsuit happened. They fully changed the value of the jet. People disagree on it, whatever. I don't think it's fair. Obviously, you should have gotten something for it, at least, you know, and not $34 million, but, you know, make the guy happy. It could have been a crazier marketing strategy. The fact that he went through all of this this and they gave him whatever a life, lifetime supply of Pepsi or even just a ride in the jet would be an amazing commercial. Just make this man happy. It would have been an insane marketing stunt even past that. They probably could have put him in a commercial. Regardless of that, now Liquid Death is doing this the right way. And they have a jet that's not worth $34 million. It's only worth $400,000 and you can actually win this jet. So the way you can sign up for this, and I'm not sponsored by Liquid Death, although I do enjoy their beverages, you sign up and you start a text chain with them, whatever it is, you buy the Liquid Death, you send them a picture of the receipt and each can is worth, so each can is worth one entry, right? So eight pack is eight entries, 24 pack, 24 entries. You can only have 400 entries per person. And the funny thing about this, and what I actually enjoy, so there's a video here, they, they do a lot of things mentioning that this is not a joke. This is for real. You're going to get this jet if you win this. So let's watch the video really quick. It's giving away an actual jet. And anyone who's 18 or older like me can win it. Yeah. It's 100% a real jet. You might remember a kid back in the 90s Even who thought it. he won a jet from a giant soda company, but then the soda company said it was all a joke. So he took on the court and he lost. But Liquid Death is not joking at all. 
In fact, they're even throwing in six months of free hangar space. They're calling this thing the D. Hangar space is definitely expensive. That's pretty insane. Fully branded jet. I love how they actually included the commercial. They didn't include the Pepsi logos, of course, but dehydrate. Because with a top speed of about 470 miles per hour, it'll relieve you of your bodily fluids and make you empty your stomach. That's why they're also throwing in a year's supply of liquid death to help you rehydrate. You just have to walk into a physical store to buy liquid death and text a qualified receipt. And get this, every can is an entry. So who wants to puke and pee their pants? I know I do. The more liquid death you buy, the more chances you have to own an actual what the fuck? So well done. It's just insane. And this is probably the most disclaimers, the most lawyers involved for this, but very well done. Here's what you win, right? So you win the jet, of course. I mentioned that multiple times. Six months of free hangar space. Great bonus. Sort in our hangar before you move it to yours. A year's supply of liquid death to rehydrate you after you puke and pee your pants, which is, you know, in liquid death terms, that is great. Fully on brand. A cockpit cup holder, which is very funny, so you can rehydrate mid-flight. And then the liquid death flight helmet to so you protect your skull while you pull G's. Very, it's just, what a deal, you know? Honestly, makes me want to go buy some liquid death. Is this a joke? Is their first... FAQ, the first frequently asked question. This is 100% real. You won't have to take us to court to get the jet. They're just going to hand you this jet if you win, right? So that's very interesting they include this in the FAQ because the new Death Dust they just released on Amazon. I don't know. I think it's probably, obviously, I guess it's in storage. Well, yeah. They released this Death Dust, which is, you know, liquid ID, uh, liquid IV type powder where you pour it into any water. And they're just trying to break into that space, which I think is a huge, it's a huge category because it sits on the shelf. There's no, I don't think, I think it's a much longer shelf life. Also extremely, you know, much more portable and you can, different scenarios for that, for the Death Dust. Um, so each death stick also does count as an entry. So this is the coolest thing. What happens if I win? How do I pick up the jet? So some companies joke about giving away jets. We don't. We'll notify you if you won. Once you confirm you qualify, we'll notify you. And the jet will be made available for pickup from a designated hangar on a day that, that is within two to nine months of when you're selected that you've that you've won. And then there's official rules. The most disclaimers on this thing, which is nuts, but I'm sure, yeah, over 18 you win. Pretty cool. Very interesting. They have a lot of marketing strategies happening. And I think this is definitely one of the best because everyone's very aware of this marketing strategy from Pepsi that happened years ago. And no one's done this again because I think they're scared to do it. What company is going to take this risk and say they're going to deal with this after, you know, Pepsi was sued for, it, even though nothing really happened. Liquid Death is that company to do it and they're doing it very well. This video, this promotional video is extremely well done. I think everything they do is honestly impressive. I wouldn't almost say copy, but it's tough to compete with this level of marketing. They're in such a caliber where only companies that have, I guess the CMO as the CEO can pull this off. And and a lot of other direct consumer brands aren't operating at this high of level. It takes a lot to hit every time. And you know what would be funny? Actually, if, if a different direct consumer brand said, win a jet and then said, we're joking. Because then you don't actually have to go to the, the lengths of all of this, make this promo video. They could have CGI'd their logo on a different jet and actually said, we're not joking or we're joking. And then they could say they're giving away a jet as well. If you know, you buy four bottles of Curology, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't even matter. But if Dr. Squatch did this, they could say they have a Dr. Squatch watch submarine obviously we're joking and or, or the jet as well overall i think it's a great marketing campaign i'm definitely impressed i might have to enter to win the dehydrator the jet and what would you take would you take the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash or would you take the fighter jet where would you store this would you have to get a hanger would you be willing to get a hanger to keep this or would you take it and then sell it i don't know I, that's another point if you win this i don't think there's a huge market to resell this i don't know if there's a huge liquid death fan actually maybe because it's like a collectible kind of things so maybe someone would be willing to pay to buy this off you if you actually took the jet, which would then you'd probably win another hundred thousand dollars more than the 250. But on the 250, you know, you got to pay the 50% tax on that. So basically winning what 175. Interesting, interesting marketing campaign. Liquid Death is definitely crushing it. Impressive to see. And there's definitely a lot that can be learned from a lot of their marketing campaigns. But overall, pretty good marketing campaign. I think I said that already. And um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy this breakdown and just a little bit of a marketing news update. I'm gonna keep making these videos. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.